Hey there, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a vetted ClickUp consultant. In today's video, I'm super excited because I love this feature of ClickUp. So we're gonna go over how ClickUp docs work and really how they make collaboration easy. They have so many amazing features that you can do with ClickUp Docs. Before we dive in, I just want to go over a big question we have is, should I be using ClickUp Docs for everything or are there certain cases where I should be using things like Google Docs? Great question and it really is a case by case basis. What it all boils down to is I really suggest if everything is in internal than using ClickUp Docs. This way, everything is in one place. They're searchable within your workspace. You can link them to tasks. It's just the bomb. And I'm gonna show you all the amazing features. But if there are reasons why you may need to collaborate with multiple people outside of a project, you might wanna use cloud sharing like Google Docs. So when you send a document to someone, they can easily just collaborate without having to be a guest or a member of a new tool. So there are also other really easy ways to make this possible by adding a custom field URL where you can link that doc. And so I'll go over that as well. But just wanted to go through that quick tip before we dive in to all the good stuff. Let's get into ClickUp Docs. ClickUp Docs are truly incredible. There are so many amazing features, not only when it comes to managing your own business, but collaborating with a team as well. So I want to show you a couple different ways that we use them, but also just some tips on getting started and things that you may not know. So you can have Docs as a view on a specific list. You can also have docs in a sidebar as well. So let me show you an example of that. So here you could see in our launch template, we have a nested document within a folder for any important info. So it doesn't get lost in any views. And then you can also create docs inside of tasks as well. We'll go over that in a second if you click add new doc. Um, or you can even go into the doc center. So here, and then add a new document directly in here as well. Um, so many different places that you could put them and it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. So for example, in our main content workflow, where we're mapping out all of our weekly themes and quarterly content. We have this content copy doc that has all of our content copy since 2021. So we break it down by the year, the month, and then each week has one document that houses all of the content for that entire week. And now this is just the copy. Then we split it up into the individual content calendars. And we have some other videos on our channel going over our content calendar. But if you want a specific one on our content process, you've definitely gotten that request before. So let us know in the comments. Um, but here you can see how nice the stock is just all mapped out with the social copy, the blog copy, and the email copy. So you can see number one, the banners segmenting the different pieces of content, social, blog, and email. You can see how nicely images come right in here, how you can link URLs. Um, and let's just go over from the top some of the really great features about docs. So here you're gonna see the title, up at the top, you can see any relationship. So this is linked to this task that is in our status list. You can add comments directly to the doc itself and you can mention people as well. You can see, um, add an icon to the doc. Um, so that just added an icon instead of that doc icon right there. Um, add a cover. So you can make this super sleek by either adding covers that they natively have, images, or um, putting your own images as well. So you can upload maybe a banner. We do that with some of our public facing documents and I'll get into that in a second. You can also go into the settings and see all of the amazing things you could do to really customize this. You can change, they currently have three different font selections. Choose the size, the page width, 
Do you want to have a cover image, page title and icon, subtitle, author, show the author so you could see the author here when it was last updated. Um, subtitles, protect the page, word count, characters, reading time, etc. Um, and then advanced, you can see font size, line height. So you can really deck these out to be really how you want them to be and customized. You can also add doc templates, which is amazing. Um, so you've if you have a certain structure for documents um, or like our onboarding document for some of our client projects has everything mapped out step by step, you can have templates for that and then upload it. And then you can export this, right, as PDF, print it, um, and I'll also show you how to share it with a public link. So those are the main settings. One other thing that's really cool is if you utilize headings, we're going to slash commands in a second, but click forward slash. If you use any of these headings, you can actually create a sticky table of contents by clicking this button on here. And then when you close the sidebar, any of those headings, you'll be able to just drop right down to those places. We love using the st sticky table of contents. Um, okay, so those are the major settings. Then when you go into the settings of the actual doc, you could rename, duplicate, copy link, favorite, move to another location, save as a template, apply a template, attach a file. This right here is golden, the history of the document. This has recovered many mistakes before where something has gotten deleted and you can actually see the exact edits that were done to that document. Um, and who made them, right? So you could see I made edits um, right now. And uh, those would then show here whatever I did to that document. And you can restore that version as well. So history is huge. Um, share it, archive, or delete. And you can see again who it was last edited by. So let's talk about slash commands for a second. These are available in many different places in ClickUp. We use them most in like tasks and descriptions and then documents. If you click forward slash, you'll then be able to have this list of shortcuts. So add a new sub, sub page, page, template. You can add um, banners, tables, checklists, ClickUp lists, toggle lists. Um, normal text, headings, checklists, check this out. I won't go through every single one, but you can see all the different shortcuts you have. So some of my favorites are adding checklists. So you can always just mark those as complete, super sleek. Um, drop down lists, toggle lists are pretty cool as well. So you can kind of nest this document. And then you can see how it toggles, right? Um, you can add different ClickUp lists in table view, um, or you can see mention people, mention tasks. So here are the views. You can add a table view, ClickUp list, ClickUp board right to the document from your um, workspace anywhere, which is really cool. Um, adding banners. Banners is a great way to separate out information and kind of say, okay, this is the specific type of information. Maybe you want to use like red for a warning banner, green for information, etc. cetera. Um, you can also add icons to them as well, which is great. Um, and then I'll go ahead and delete that one. Then you can see if you write any text, you have this bar here to be able to format it. So you can change it to headings and then utilize that sticky table of contents. You can highlight, bold, strike through, comment. This is huge. Um, so if there's something about this, right, maybe I wanted to change this to be something else, I could comment and mention someone, right? So I said, at Jeff, let me know what you think about this. Comment there. He'll get that in his notification section and then be able to come into here, reply to me, or if it was just like a direct thing that needed to be resolved, he can then resolve that comment. Um, super cool. That's why I love using ClickUp Docs for team collaboration because anything that you're mentioning in here, changing to this doc, 
you know, commenting on a specific thing, it's going into their ClickUp task section. You don't have to be sifting through your email if it's, say, on a Google Doc. So I recommend going through, checking out all the different slash commands. Another really cool thing is you can hover over text and create a task from this. So if you created this task, then it would actually be living in your ClickUp. You can assign someone to it. Um, and then, you know, act as say you're creating an agenda for a team meeting. You can then take these tasks and, or these bulleted action items and make them direct tasks in your ClickUp from the document. Okay. Now let's talk about sharing and permissions with docs. So right now you can share documents as a public link and I'll show you how to do that in a second, but you can't collaborate with that public link. Someone would have to be added as a guest to the document in order to collaborate and then they'd have to create a ClickUp login. So this is something that if you do maybe send documents to outside people from your company, whether it be clients or things like that, Maybe using Google Docs in that case would be a better option. But say you just wanna share this public link with someone as view only. You would then click on this share link with anyone, copy this public link, and this is what it looks like on the other person's end. So super sleek publicly facing, they're able to view it. Maybe it's an informational document. Maybe this is like a freebie download um, and you wanted to put it in here. We actually use ClickUp Docs for delivering our audits um, because then they have everything in a public link while we're able to then collaborate on our end as an internal team. Um, so that is how you share that with a public link. And then just to wrap up, let's go over the different ways that you can create docs, right? So we talked about adding doc view, right? This is a doc view in this list, all the copy in nested documents. Then if you click into this task, you can link a doc by clicking on this plus, right? If you're in this task, you can click the plus and click link doc and then search for the doc and link it to the task if that document already exists in another place. But say you wanna go ahead and actually create a document inside that task. We do this in certain, certain circumstances as well. You can scroll down to the bottom on attachments, click plus new doc, and now you've created a new document that lives inside this task. So you can see now we have new document. It'll now be living in this task. Anytime you're going to do work on this task, you'll have access to that document right there. And then thirdly, if we go into our YouTube calendar, you can see we have our SEO docs as a view here, but then we also will have a linked doc field. So if you click plus column, show slash hide, we clicked on the linked doc so we could see it on the outside of the task. And you can just click right into here and then click on the document and it brings you right there. So for easy access, you're able to then just have everything you need at your fingertips. And so there are multiple different ways, as you can see, to not only create the docs, but then link them to the specific projects or tasks that you're actively working on. And then lastly, to wrap it up, now, obviously, as business owners or just people that are using ClickUp, we may have a lot of ClickUp documents, right? And one of my favorite features is the command center search function. Say you just want to look for the exact document that you need, you can click command K and bring up, let me do that again, your search section. So you can then just search for the document or whatever you're looking for, even a task or something like that, a list, and then click right into that direct space. So I hope you learned a lot through this video about the different things that you can do with docs. They're so powerful. 
amazing for collaboration and just storing all your information in one place. And also being able to take that document and link it to multiple different places in ClickUp to make sure everything is super cohesive as you're working on these projects and collaborating with your team. So I hope that tutorial was helpful for you and just getting the basic understanding of what ClickUp docs are, what you can do with them, how you can collaborate with your team really easily. And I'm excited for you to dive in if you haven't already with ClickUp docs or start implementing these new features in your account. If you are brand new to ClickUp, I want to let you know we have some amazing free resources on our website at desilvalife.com slash freebies. Whether you want to download our ClickUp 101 guide or get started with a free template called our simple ClickUp system, they are yours to take for free. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of other ClickUp videos that could be helpful for you. With that, thank you so much for watching, for being here, for supporting our channel, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.